Hello everyone and welcome back to another Science for Breakfast experiment. Today we're going to explore how surface area to volume ratio affects the rate of diffusion. As you can see we have three agar cubes here, small, medium and large. Each cube has the same composition, they all contain phenolphthalein, but they differ in size. Why are we interested in the surface area to volume ratio? In simple terms it refers to the amount of surface area per unit volume. This ratio is crucial because it influences the rate at which substances can diffuse into or out of an object. To demonstrate this concept, we're going to immerse these agar cubes into dilute hydrochloric acid. The phenolphthalein mixed into the agar is a pH indicator that goes colourless in acidic conditions. Now let's start with the smallest agar cube. The height, width and length are all 0.5 centimetres. Let's carefully place this into the beaker of hydrochloric acid and start the stopwatch. Now observe closely as the hydrochloric acid will begin to diffuse into the agar cube, reacting with the phenolphthalein indicator. We will stop the stopwatch when all of the cube is colourless. Now let's repeat it with the medium sized cube. The height, width and length of this cube is 0.5 centimetres. Now let's repeat it with the large size cube. The height, width and length of this cube is 1 cm. As we can see, the smaller agar cube changes colour more quickly compared to the larger ones. This is because the smaller cube has a higher surface area to volume ratio allowing the acid to penetrate it more rapidly. And there you have it. By comparing the time taken for each cube to change colour, we can observe firsthand the relationship between surface area to volume ratio and the rate of diffusion. I hope you enjoyed this experiment as much as I did. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting science content. Until next time, stay curious and keep experimenting.